Hello, yeah, welcome to this video. This is the first, uh, this is just an update video for Divi Machine. This is the first update we're gonna be doing for the plugin, and there's been a few little changes, so I just wanna run through them with you. So yeah, let's just, let's just jump straight into it, make my, vid make my video smaller. Okay, so the first one really is, we've given the ability to add related posts. Um, this would be in the same category, or I uh, get yeah, in the same category. So, for example, I've done this related post over here in my theme builder layout in the archive loop module. In loop options, options we now have this setting called post display type. Default is what it will be set to normally, but if you want to show the related posts, you just put related. And then you don't have to include the categories. It, does, it automatically picks up the categories that that particular post is, is part of and shows the related posts. So that's the first one. Second one is on the category page. Um, I haven't actually looked at this. Okay, so what we've added, and I haven't started up, but we've added number count. So you can see it's got a number count next to the checklist. And when you, uh, you know, filter, it will dynamically change. So I can show all the black ones. It gives me the number. If I go convertible, you know, it gives me all of them. And I can say I want to see the white ones. Or, um, what you are seeing below is another loop. So don't be confused. This is just my testing. And pretty much we now allow to have two kind of loops on the page. I'll show you that. I'll demonstrate that now. If I go to, over to the dashboard theme builder in here on the archive page, I've added two loops on the page. Before, you, you couldn't have two loops with the filter. It would get confused with what it was um, filtering. So now on the loop, if you go on there, we have this setting called is main loop. Enable this if it's the main loop that you want the filter to to talk to. So this will basically give, you know, choose if you want to make this loop the main loop on the page, the filter will affect this loop. So on this page, for example, I have two, you see. Um, okay, so that's the second one. The third one is ability to create a table. So the table like this, uh, you only want to be, at the moment, you can only use the advanced custom field pro repeater mod uh, re repeater so if we go over here um sorry i'll just uh pull that off <laughs> sorry that was just that so if you go to um the where am i now custom fields cars so we want to add a repeater and in order to have a table they have to be uh, like just basic fields like text. So I've named position and score, for example. And then on the actual posts, you can add more of these. How does it look like on the module? So if we go to the repeater module, go on to the repeater module, you want to choose the advanced custom field pro because we're using the repeater field, which is this one. Uh, and in there, repeater name, choose the repeater name, and then the repeater field style. So at, by default, it'll be a custom loop layout where you create a layout and then it, you know, it displays, or you can choose table. When you choose table, you can then customize the header, the odd uh, background, the table border color, as well as uh, other things like you know table header text and stuff, stuff, stuff like that. So that's the table. Um, last of the big kind of updates is post object. So on this on this here, we can have these post objects. What post object is, is on the field, on advanced custom fields. Here we can say, okay, I want to have maybe on specific related posts. In here, you know, field type is post object and then filter by post type. I only want the customer to be able to add cars. Okay, on the actual cars page, if we go to the settings, you'll see down here, they can now add specific cars. 
Okay, so now how do we display that? Go over to your, your single page template in advanced custom field item. Uh, select related, okay. So this will be the, the post object. By default, we remove the label because you don't really want a label there. Then you go down to relational field settings because we're going to be adding more settings. So we've added a new tab called relational field settings. Choose the loop layout that you want for these each of these posts to look at. And then you can use the grid columns just like the archive loop. So here we can see on uh, there's the three cars. I've just added another one. So if all goes well. There you go. There's the fourth one now. So they all look for the loop layout and there's a group of, there's a four column layout. And I showed the specific posts that you, that you chose in the settings. Okay. Other than that, there's, um, there's another one, which, you know, the, I'll just kind of run through, make it a, make into a, um, number list or put it, put a point list for check box advanced custom field. So here, if we go to advanced custom field, additional, information let me actually just go over to the uh, view so in additional information uh, I can go down to specific settings checkbox style so this is a checkbox field I can say I want it to just be list comma separated I want it to be a bullet point and or I want it to be numbered list and we will eventually add the ability to add archons and stuff like that to there uh, yeah, we've also done things like um, this content over here. You know, you can show the excerpt instead of the content. But I want to show content there. Uh, there's been there's been a lot that we've done um, changing the icons on hover for the gallery. There's another one that we've done. <laughs> that looks pretty stupid, but it's just for me to really see if it's working. We've also fixed a few, you know, other issues and, and make things work a bit quicker and, and the search improving the search functionality. So check out our change log. But yeah, I hope this update has served you well and given you some more ideas on things you can do. Have a great day and we'll speak soon. Cheers.